Welcome back everyone, Drake Hawkinson again, playing some more Star Sector. We're back to do some more, uh, to try some more bounties and uh, head off to uh, to home to see about uh, a bit of more information in the local area, as well as the option to, ooh, there's a bounty nearby. Um, as well as the hope that we're going to find um, some, some more spaces to explore and pick up our Paragon by the end of the day today. That's the goal. So let's get to it. We had some stuff that was supposed to be dropped off. This can go to Yma. This cannot. Corvus. Thule. Yeah, nothing, right? Hey, let's exodus for that. Unfortunately, even the staffing we can't really drop for any great numbers anywhere right by. So this stuff can drop off in uh, Salamanca. So let's do that. Oh, Mike is over by the Choopy. Let's go right here. Let's wander on. Choopy is. Or Salamanca is this one here. Nope. Uh, excellent, though. We can come in and black market these. Wonderful. 179 to Samara for 400. Okay, so we've got to do these sales. This is worth too much. Um, my goodness. Um, holy crapazoids. <clears throat> Let's go for nine bucks to 71. 3,000 units of it, shall we? Um, so 30. There are 3,000 units of organics that we can take down to. Corvos, uh, we can also take these meds down to Salama uh, uh, Samara, Tiga City in Samara. We can take this to Corvos. Okay, so we'll take all three of these to Corvos then. No, this has to go, yeah, to Corvos. Corvos is our next target then. All right, let's fly. Uh, did I do the selling I need to do here? Yeah, did I grab the supplies though? I'm totally interrupting that because I did not. But the fuels and supplies are too pricey. Let's try that again. <laughs> Make up your mind, Drake. Make up your mind. Okay. Corvos is a reasonable target here. Unless this was also available... No. Currently not, but it might become available. Fast track to Corvos. We got a bunch more uh, uh, bounties available on Jungle World, huh? Far south, unfortunately. And honestly, any of the entrances into Corvos would probably be a good choice. Because we got three different spots to drop off here. Gagne. Might be our first choice, I suppose. Can I get... Jump in here. Go dark through the magnetic field there. Magnetosphere. You guys are a straight up beautiful profit maker. Like that. Um, really? Where were these going? Is this actually the right spot? It is. Beautiful. Those 3,000 for a bunch more profit. Now 1.6 million. We made over a million since last up, the start of last episode. So I'm not too displeased about that, that's for sure. Uh, this price is no longer good, if it was ever good. And nothing there, unfortunately, either. Okay. Grab some fuel then, I guess, out the door sort of thing. Um, yeah, too bad there's no... Bengala's not well. It's kind of worth taking because I think we got them for a little less than that, but... Not really. Okay. Well, let's head to Jengala anyways for the supplies and Ashura. Asharu? Asharu? I think it's Asharu. That's 
transponder on, please, so we look like a good little citizen of the core. Loved by the hegemony, of course. Nothing of interest there. Grab your fuel supplies. Uh, really? Drugs directly in system available? Yeah, we could take that right back there. And we could take that right back there. No, we could not. Yes, we could for 300 bucks. Jeepers. We take that over to the other side. Don't mind if I do. Even these are priced are priced right. Because we can get up to four thousand. Up to yeah, four thousand to move there. Alright, speaking of good little citizens. Let's be bad little citizens and black market the crap out of this one. La 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 la. 110,000 experience. Just from straight up profiteering. Alright. Uh, the first 75,000 went, I think, I think that was the first one, went into production on that. Yeah. Total of 75,000 is yet to have its effect, so that's good. Wonderful. Let's see if we can get to. Right near here. Fly into the magnetosphere just to go dark without being seen doing it. Not sure that that matters at all, but eh, it's worth worth having a pop in that little bit of a difference. Get the profits there. Oops, if I did that right, I don't think I did that right. Crap. Okay, whatever. <laughs> losses are losses. Dumb is you know a fairly common trait for me sometimes. Uh, let's drop a thousand units of that, or that much even. Okay. Now we do need some more fuel. And so we'll head out of here, immediately turn the transponder on, go full burn, head to Jengala. There should be a good supply of materials there. We'll head up to Jengala and um, fuel up as much as we can. If we can get a couple thousand, which is probable, it's a fairly big port. We should be able to get a good chunk of stuff from this. Oh, we need 200 in the prices through the roof. Crap doodles. Come on, guys. Nine bucks. Nine bucks. They're just making me do all this fuel tra or supply transfer. Transfer. That's not what I'm here for. Yeah, we're totally here to make money. <laughs> totally, that's what we're here for. That's okay. So we're going. We're going northwest with this. We do need to stop for some more supplies, anyways. So the canny pirate base in Kamari Kingdom. And we'll take the meds up there as well. And we'll take the food up there. And we'll take your fuel. And that fuel. Lovely. And that fuel. I don't care if the price is a little hefty. No more jumping through hoops for this. Good, I'm glad that patrol just ignored us entirely. Uh, Kamari Kandam into the county system. Oh, there's something to do there as well. The Rama Bridge, just past the Rama Bridge. Good, fly fast. Fly flat, fly fast and true, friends. Oh, little ships, you can do it. Nice, dodge that one without even trying to dodge. That one's gonna be a little hefty. We'll slow down for that. That was the Rama Bridge. That's the point I wanna go into. There we go. One and a half million credits in hand. We do have a quest in here. We'll go in dark. We'll sell off that, and we'll sell off that. Hold on, abort. Let's, sometimes you get quests related to the items that you bring in. Uh, no. Smoker in a dark corner. Starworks, he wants disrupted. No and no. Okay. You have something to do. Oh yes, a certain technology. We're going to ignore that one and just pay the cash for it. It's a quest for what's his face. All right, and in here an offload. Uh, Aos Exodus is where we have to take this for 226 bucks. These guys are definitely here. Nope, definitely not selling them for that price. Uh, this is also black marketed. And what do I do? 
Oh, I hit the wrong button. Good. And how about staffing? Uh, Magek. Is it Magek? Because I may be pronouncing that wrong this whole time. Magek, maybe? I don't know. Eos is close by to, to Magek. Western S for those. We got a decent path if we do that. Canton. Okay, so we can go to. We can do staff to Canton, sell a thousand, so we don't need the extras. Uh, the meds can go here. Support this, please. We take this stuff to Eos Exodus, and we take this stuff then up to Westerness. And we take this stuff to Megek on the way. Okay, sold, sold, and sold. Good, good, good. And the ore can be picked up here and taken which way? Nowhere. Too far to the west and too useless going north with that. Probably get other stuff on the trip. Okay. First hit up Aos Exodus. And then head to. That's Betis. Oh my goodness, what the heck just happened over here? Just a bit of squabbles. Not worth recovering. Path for Watchers, an identified fleet. Uh, Vetus, Canton there. Yes, Exodus. Let's go to Magek first. Canton by the Maxius Point. Good. Holy fast flies. Oh, we got a trip there. Ooh. Yikes. Overshot it. Uh, 132,000 more experience gained in production. What? Construction complete of commerce. Oh, guys, we got ourselves a commerce facility so we can now do regular market type trade. That's incredible. Okay. Increase colony income by 25% with, with two story points. Wow, that would be potent. Uh, we're making some sweet money here now, too, aren't we? We'll see. We'll see what the income pans out next month. Uh, this colony right now generated 73,000 from exports. Hazard pay costs us 15, and industry uh, upkeep costs us 25. Oh, no, that's industry, eh? Yeah, the population cost us 25 because it was offset by the taxes of the population basically and the exports are 73,000. Nice. Organics are quite the export for us. That's fantastic. I think that colony is actually very potent. I think it's doing a grand old job. Um, let's just go in here. Radar down. And I think we said uh, this stuff Oh, what did we sell, say that was sellable here? Can't it. A thousand of them. Onto the black market. That's where they come from anyways. Jeepers, you literally just sit here bouncing through the systems. Bouncing around like a crazy man, picking up money. Um, we will buy this. To, oh, not quite. We'll buy like 250. Oops. 250 of it. Like that. A thousand. Okay. And uh, we're going then to AS Exodus for those. 152 is always worth buying those. Betis will give us 74 for that. 
JT still gives us 44, that's not enough of a change. 20 to 27 is also not enough of a change, and those are stupid pricey fuels and stuffs. Okay, there we go. Yes, Exodus it is. Debates. So the kind of across from Paladin's Bridge. More money. So the uh, it's, the colony is now making a goodly amount of change every month. Not. I don't think it's quite going to cover um, our expenses when we're when we're using the industry to to uh, produce our own systems, our own stuffs. Didn't expect to see one of the guards there, but that's fine. I don't think he was on to us at all. Alright, this stuff is sellable here. We're going up to Esconia if we want to drop that, which is probably a good idea. Nothing to sell there. And can we load up on some fuels? Good. Good pricing. Decent supply. Ta Umbra Esconia. Oh yes, this uh, this stuff too. Don't need to go to get out of the system for this. For the junk. This is a pather base to go into for that. It's not a terrible idea, but it's six hundred bucks a piece. Okay, that'll make it worth doing. So we'll stop there, drop off in El Gavar and Esconia. They're pretty close to each other, so... Good. I'll give Aaron Esconia. See if we can make that our last two outings. Go away. Go away. You jerk. Okay. I'll give Aaron Esconia. I'll give her, and we're dropping at the Epiphany base. Just that one right there. Maintaining contact with my fleet. I don't care if you're maintaining contact. I just want to sell you some drugs, okay? I mean some Makoha and get it out of our system. Let's see what they did there, never mind. Um, 36 bucks. With all the bouncing around I've been doing and not wanting to keep doing, but the money is still there, I'll just take this fuel. And there. And then we will ditch to our last drop, which is up in... Oh, we don't even have comms for this place. Love it. Another 75k dumped into our new beautiful astral. Uh, Skonia needs the stuff needs to go to Umbra. Honestly, Skonia is a brilliant system. I, I say this all the time, but man, you can just make bank in Skonia. If you're ever gonna get lost in a system or stuck in a system, that's the one to get stuck in. Um, Cinderian jump point. No, I want to go to Cinderian itself. Transponder on another hundred four, like a hundred thousand bucks, or hundred thousand experience every time we turn around. It's just outrageous. All right, so any in-system trade, first of all, we can double our money on those. By uh, how many can they absorb there? Umbra can only take four hundred. Um. So we can take another three there for a sweet immediate turnover in system. This is what I'm talking about, like crazy amounts of, of price changes in system. Look, okay. we can make three times the money on fuel. That's just crazy, crazy. Uh, this stuff cannot be sold in system as a profit, which is a little strange, not normally the case. There's far less than there, and there frequently is. Oh, look at this. Morena needs some metals. Huh? Look at that. 
would love to deliver. There's no shortage, but the price is high there, which means it's got a market. That's so good. Okay, uh, fuel, thank you. And uh, supplies, absolutely. I will do the same here, buying out a crap ton of supplies for the trip and fuel to sell locally. And that's our full up fuel. We are going straight across system to Umbra for this and this. And this. That is ridiculous. Love it. Okay, anything else where this is really good? Yeah, but just just do the sailing system. Um, illegal weapons, pathroom and back alley. High ranking officer wants a word. No thanks. Off to Umbra. And apparently they didn't mind the fact that I... Oh, I guess because I bought a ton of stuff on the regular market after doing the black market stuff which basically pushed us away from being evildoers to being good helpful economic boosts I like it I like it when they get away with that nonsense into Umbra <clears throat> nobody else to watch us <coughs> pardon me may as well turn the transponder off so nobody's any delight 1400 bucks don't mind if I do uh, I'm gonna take like 20 of these in case we scan anything. Otherwise, oh, there you go. At that price, that's fine. All we needed, oh my gosh, six bucks for crew? Six bucks for crew. Uh, load them up. <laughs> All aboard. Uh, 6,000 of those for sale. 2.2 million in hand. This is just nutty. The money is unreasonably good. Uh, back to Sindri for the metals and uh, and some more fuel pickup and probably drop off the crew. That is wild. Okay, really don't care what else. I, I, I don't know. Like we we need the money. This this will be able to fuel a um an economic development is what this will do. Transponder on, however. Let's not get ourselves caught out this time by being stupid, stupid, stupid head. Right into Sindri, we're perfectly safe and fine, nothing bad going... What? What, what, what? Come and talk to me, allow a scan, there's nothing going on to go away. Thank you. Nothing at all, I've just got a pile of metals. Nothing wrong with providing your people with metals, is there? It's fantastic. <laughs> it's fantastic. Um, I like the fact that our prices were showing up here, which means we will start seeing deliveries right out to our system, to our sector anyways, that'll quickly become profitable. So good. All right, any uh, hot wires for supplies here? Oh my goodness, I didn't notice that they had that much of a deficit there as well. Good gracious. I'm gonna buy up this fuel even though it's expensive. And uh, you guys, wow, thank you. We'll drop the staff at 34 bucks a piece. Uh, we'll drop ourselves down to 3,000. There we go, sort, done. We'll go back to the pirate base one more time again, boss. There's actually a couple other options here. We can hit Umbra and then head to the, the Volturn and stuff. Maybe take some lobster out to our people, huh? That'd be great. So much money being made, it's ridiculous. Ridiculous. What are you and why are you hanging out here causing grief? You're causing me financial big gain, so you may leave. I don't even know what he is, but don't really care. All right, now I was here to do uh, a drop of these. 4,500. You can have them. That's another million bucks in the pocket. 3.1 million. That's just ridiculous pricing. It's it just, I just can't get over how much money we're making here. Um, and we can go back to Cindery for this for 241 bucks a piece. I mean, it's just a back and forth. So much money. Uh, I will take, however, all of those that they have on sale, and then we'll actually go out of here and we'll go to the other systems. 
And Spawnderon, please. We'll head up to uh, uh, Kuro and Volturn. Pick up some lobster on the way out. We have three million credits right now from trade. Don't see it can't be done. 350,000 experience from that. The third story point there. That is so worth doing. Maybe not as exciting and flashy as constant big butta booms, but hey, you gotta make your money too. Uh, I also wanna grab that and that for great pricing. There's more lobster available. 81 bucks a piece. Pirates and Yama, and then north. Sure, I guess. Let's see that. How many can they absorb up there? A thousand units. Um, do the easy trade this way without uh, quick transfer, using the quick transfer. There we go. And um, we'll take your lobster. Staffing is already transferred. That's not dirt cheap, that's fine. And I'll take a batch of your supply. Fuel's fine. Unless it's a really good price, which it is. Okay, next stop is on the way out. We're going to Yama. If that and Yo, I thought Yama had a price for that. Didn't it just didn't it just have a price for these? Maybe Sindri. Um, 21 bucks for organics. Domestic goods. If these go straight to Verena, there's a good price at 208 for those. Don't know what the price is at home for these things. It'd be really nice to be able to have those pricing, pricing values. Well, you don't make a lot of food up north. The organics we make a lot of. We'd have to drop these off on the way out. Three times what amount? Three times 40,000. Uh, at this point, I'm gonna say no. You guys are going to Yama, and you guys can go to Yama as well. Okay, we go to Yama. Ima, Ima, Ima. Uh, let's pop down here, see what they have. Um, I'll take your own supplies please a little more cheap supply pencil in case we want to buy anything else drugs to Ima. okay and leave and immediately transport out wonderful not a far flight so we might as well take it to Karas Okay, so, system mounting Samara. Oh, not watching, not watching, storm's bouncing. Relations with Cinder and Dictate improved by a point due to just pure straight up trade. Love it. Love it. Uh, in by the sun, if there's a spot, there it is. Boom. Uh, Lytic Church Expedition, what are they after? Projected to uh, somewhat weak. Got to do better than that guy. Primary reason for expedition is the colony's free port status. Should arrive in 24 days. We might even arrive there to join you. That would be lovely. We can all have a... I know what I meant to do here. We can all have a little party. Talk about the uh, 
good old days when we were killing pirates together in your home world, saving your people from your destruction. You know, good conversations like that. Ya jerks. Opportunistic freaks. Mmm, I would love to dump a bunch of this fuel. Let's see, what kind of range do we have? I mean, legitimately, we could drop a couple thousand fuel. Probably 2,000 fuel. Still in the 3 million marker. Uh, we'll drop this here. I'm sure it's profitable. Of that. Volatiles for dirt cheap here. Good lord. See, it just never ends. <laughs> it just never ends. <laughs> the in the instability of these costs. We go back to county, we make a billion dollars. Something stupid like that. Make a ton of money anyways. Oh, drop off the Nikoha. Sort you. Well, here's what we do. Six thousand? Is that what the offer was? Six thousand them. We don't have a six thousand location pricing, but that is just two. Thirty-eight thousand for six thousand of those. Uh, we'll be a little overstocked, so we'll send that off. This is just nuts. I don't know, guys. I'm sorry if this is weird for you, but the money we're making is ridiculous. Uh, why am I saying sorry for the money we're making? This is our colony's future. Uh, Kamari Kandam. There's a lot of hyperspace flight. Back and forth and back and forth. Uh, Kamari is over here. And we're going to Kani. Let's come in at the fringe point if we can. I'll try to avoid the slowdowns, uh, but don't don't avoid those. Is that a pirate buffalo? No, it's not. It's also not for free. Pirate buffaloes are awesome. Oh, wrong way. Wrong bounce for sure. Uh, I don't mind if I bounce a little. I'm just getting impatient with the timing. Jive turkeys repair and all the rest. Blah blah blah. Bunch of repairs and a bunch of stuff. Oh, that was not anticipated. No, slow, slow. Oh my god. <laughs> That's what I get for being la lazy with it. That was a pinball. See how many bounces we got there? Didn't take damage every time, which is nice. But holy crap. That was just terrible. There we go. Oof. Dark, pulling the county. Sell those. And next spot would be to run to Isara. Isaraya. Wow. Pick up that. We'll go drop in Isaraya at the pirate base there. Yep. Isaraya is right next door. Pirate base is right out, right in from the fringe point. Money hand over fist, guys. Hand over fist. $3.6 million. I uh, just, wow. Wow. <laughs> At what point do you stop? <laughs> the addiction is real. Must have more money. Um, we could go all the way across the core to drop these, and I don't think we want to. We'll keep them at home probably from now on. Um, so if we fly through Yama and then leave, going north, this is our take right here. 
Uh, you're in Yuma. You're available in Yuma. Oh, what was that phrase? I done the wrong thing with those. Send them back to him. My bad. Waste on the taxes there. Ima, Ima, Ima. Only things that we can drop in Ima now. Last trip through the system. I think it was Karas that we need to drop these. Usually is. Yep. And that's up by the white dwarf. Okay, so now that we've blown off another 30, 40 minutes of amusing wonders, a mule and a mule. Usually worth the free supply. Sometimes some valuables in them too. Okay. So much conflict going on in the systems. It's kind of amusing. Um, Asura. No, 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 leave. Didn't think I actually clicked that. What the heck? Not out of fuel or something, no. I do have a limited amount of fuel, however. Because <clears throat> I keep buying and selling it like a lunatic. Uh, the white dwarf is what I'm looking for. So this is Hibberzil, wrong one. That white dwarf is what I'm looking for. We're just going to drop right in on the star. Mm, yoink. Bounce. A little bit of damage. And a drop off. Okay. Profits and profits. And more profits. Um, I could top up the Marines, that would be a nice choice. 200 strong. Troops, our crew is dirt cheap here. I will fill it up and take it north. Your fuel is crazy expensive. Holy crap, dude. Dang it. Um, anything else? <clears throat> no. We will have to go to the other systems, uh, other uh, places in system though. To get some fuel, because that's uh, way too pricey. I'm not spending 76 bucks for fuel here. I will not, however, I'll try to resist the return trip for in-system cash. Gotta get moving, we're almost at four million. This has been the most profitable single trading uh, day ever, and I was like, I started, I'm like, okay, no more trading. People want to see some progress. <laughs> this is progress, guys. It's a lot of it. <sighs> Look at that. Three times your money. Three times your money. Just to fly straight back north. That's ridiculous. Because there's so much conflict between them that a, a, an outside party is cash on the money. Stop it. Stop it. Ooh. Stop it. Stop it. Stop it. Um, no, those are a thousand bucks. I'm returning for a thousand bucks. Okay. Move off to the next system. The next place in system which is wait is there only the one the two here there is only two here so back to Karas dang it we don't have the fuel we're real bingo fuel here I don't think 2,000 fuel is gonna take us home it might it might be wrong Zoom. another production day successful 304,000 bounty posted for someone, 162,000 experience. We're just cranking money and money and money and money. It's just ridiculous. Yeah, the fuel is so, cra it is so crazy pricey here. Look at the pr 
price on these volatiles? 100 bucks. I guess that's as good a place as any to head, right? To get... We head to Naraka and fuel up. And we take that with us. I thought there'd be a good supply of fuel here. Forgot how crappy this is for fuel. Naraka. And if that doesn't get us fuel, we'd pop into Atsland and grab more. Ooh, that did bump me. Didn't expect that. Thought we'd clip past that one. Oh, I didn't expect that either. Oops. Madam. And Naraka fuel choices is Yama. And its sister right next door. Down from the jump point to there. In and transponder on, please. We don't get anybody upset at us. Here. Uh, was the price? No. Yes, it was. Oh, in system, there's there's another system that'll pay us 33 for them, or we sell them here for 27. No, thank you. Metals are dirt cheap, and I know we want to take those home. So there we go. We finally found it. <laughs> the thing that'll force us home. Uh, wait. Oh, this other system is worth it. Is for those. Okay. We'll, we'll board up or fill up on that. We will also fill up on the fuel you have. I really don't care what the price is at this point. Ridiculous. Only 10 buck improvement on those in town, in system. That's also not big enough. Okay. You guys. Care about that. So what we're going to do is take any amounts of excess metal that we can. Which is, oops. Which is already full. Going to head to the other in system facility. This one over here. This place is quiet over here, not a lot of bunch of patrols hanging out. Little guys. One little guy. Survey Jungle World, huh? Maybe a good idea. Uh, this was the rest of these to sell. 1500 I'm just gonna dump the rest. I think 28 bucks is fine. It's good. Uh, you have... Not in system. You have fuel for 34, I'll take it. 37 plus taxes, I'll take it. We just gotta get out of here. There's, these guys are buying a bunch of the. Ooh, hello. It's 800 they'll take now. Yes! 4.1 million in hand. Wow. Uh, we could grab some more metals from back from that other system. At 9 bucks a piece. That's amazing. Don't bother. Don't bother, dude. Really don't bother. Go after that pirate. Thank you. Ah. Oh. They're refusing me docking. You're a jerk. <laughs> Is this worth the point? La 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 la. <laughs> Just playing the chase game with this guy. I'm going back to Yama. And that's their only patrol. <sighs> That's funny. He totally lost track of me. Sneaky sneak! <laughs> Made it in! 
Uh, that was totally not worth it, just to buy some more metal. It was amusing, though. I entertained myself in the process. Um, which is part of the fun. Alright, can't get any more of that stuff there. That's fine. Alright, we got fuel, we got supplies, we got a ton of metal to head out with. Let's do this. That is a pirate group, so I'm gonna just salvage. While they mash around with the patrols. Grab what we can here. There's usually not a lot in there. Sometimes there's a pile of fuel in them, though. If they didn't blow and blow up and or vent their fuel. Who are you? Who are you with? Don't know. All right, out we go. Ah, that's the smugglers that was just reported there. Okay, so uh, we want to head home for sure. And uh, let's see what else there was to do along the way. Look at that. 45 minutes of pure money making. Uh, 270,000 for the Ludic path base here. It's pretty good. I really wanted to get home to do the... We'll get home for the... We'll get home and do the Paragon. Or get the Paragon. I don't know if we'll do much with it at this point. We have to colonize... More space is what we're going to do. I think what I'll do is go immediately home and just colonize the one that we're going to use for refining, which is right in system. If I remember correctly, the sister planet, the in system planet there is also. Ah, I'm being sloppy with this. I'm trying to rush. The in system, the monthly expense is minus 71,000. So that. Wow. That means we're actually breaking even. We're actually producing money off that one colony, in spite of all the stuff that's in it. It's not bad. Uh, Ledic Church Expedition. Arrived in system. All right. See if we can get uh, get there in time to have a duke out with them. Probably not. They're probably going to be defeated by the local patrols first. That'd be nice. A hot to trot is repaired. Okay. Got to be one of our... Oh. One of our service ships. This is not a, a convenient route home. Not at all. Never suffered damage from a storm. Uh, Alright, home sweet home. I uh, don't know which planet. I think there's two of them, and I think we the bigger one is actually not our home spot, is it? Nope, that is. Hey, look at that. There's Solarians, or, uh, whatever these guys are. Join the battle. This is not really worth joining the battle. It's just a bunch of little ships. We're not, they're just gonna run. So, um, we'll get our second-in-command to handle it and throw a bunch of supplies at them. Squish them immediately. Ooh, Ooh somebody get out of there. Not cool. Uh, there we go. The expedition has now failed. You are a hostile fleet. Still. They're not uh, under sanction, though, so we'll go ahead and blow them up. Sure. That, that, and that. Knock them out, boys. You want to finish that guy off? Let him go home and try to... The Reverend, or whatever, or Mama, or whoever it is that he's going to cry home to. Probably nobody. He's probably going to go find a quiet place to settle down and hide. Alright, repairing right there. Now, Managed now has open market. Yes! Oh, we can't do black market here, eh? Interesting. Stability due to what? Oh, minus three from commerce. Right. Forgot about that. Commerce itself causes an issue. Now, we have, what's this? Dealmaker Hollow Suite. Colony income increased by 50%. Okay, that's gonna get the Luddites a little upset at us. Upgrade to a Star Fortress. Oh, a million bucks. Upgrade to a Star Fortress. Don't mind if I do. Increases the demand. Uh, stability plus three versus the stability plus two right now, which we would love to see. Um. 
We can install a dealmaker hollow suite, can't we? Colony income increased by 50%. Confirm. Orbitals, we have a corrupted nanoforge. We do not want to put it on there. It'll poison the place. Um, make improvements to add a stability. That's two story points. Or we can just upgrade the beast for a million bucks. Control HQ could have a uh, one of these, whatever they're called. Um, yeah, what it's called, but it would it, it requires the planet be hot or extremely hot. Mining, we would have to have a non-habitable world or and not a gas giant to put this beast in. It's not a gas giant, but we would have also have to have a non-habitable world. Uh, the fuller in spool is already in that one. We, the only thing, other thing for there is an AI core. Uh, did we install? No, there was something else I thought we were able to install. No, there isn't. Oh yes, ground defense. Ground defense. Uh, combat drone replicator. Colony ground defense increased by 1.5. Boom. That's a good day. That is a profitable beast of a day. Now, uh, there should be some serious cash coming at us every month now. Yeah, baby. I like it. Uh, stability is 8. It'll go up to 9 when we get this thing in. And we could possibly do something else to boost that. Uh, when this becomes a military base, I believe that adds a number. Which it does, so that's what we'll do next uh, Next colony size. So when it hits 6, we'll add the uh, military base in here. So good. So good. Uh, I'm going to go ahead to the open market here and see what they will give me for metals. They will give me... They are going to charge me a 30% tariff. Well, I guess that's fine to sell it to our own people. No, not that. That's here. What are you giving me for those? Nothing. Staffing for 34. That's great. Uh, we'll do the staffing after because we have a ship in here in our storage. <laughs> Star Witch. <laughs> um, okay. Wow. Uh, we also have a number of other ships available too, so cheapers. Um, Star Witch. Oh yeah, we can also buy ships here too. Sweet. This is a high-tech buffalo, so not what I needed. Uh, but if we wanted a salvage gantry, we could bring one for instance. Um, we could buy another Medusa. Those are available on the market because we manufacture those. Oh, so good. So juicy good. Um, we have a lot of ships. You are going to come up here. And I think we are going to try to fly this thing. We'll we'll add it. This will be Lizzie Star Witch. Because Star Witch is just hilarious. Um, oh, what did I do? Caps all over. Where do we leave it, Lizzie? No, we go with Lizzie Star Witch. I like it. It's considered a raider battleship. Um, auto pulse lasers on it, graviton beams, tac tactical lasers. Jeepers. Uh, what does it come equipped with? Advanced targeting core is built in. I don't mind that at all. Um, awesome. Uh, its ability is a unique one, if I understand. Fortress shield reduces the damage taken by shields to a minimum, but generates hard flux well active. Generates hard flux well active. Really? Has that changed? Hmm. Is that. Do you shut off the. I don't know. Oh, there's structural damage on it. What? What? Somebody made a fault when they built it. Stabilize shield. Reduce the amount of soft flux raised shields generate by 50%. Does not affect the hard flux generated as a result of shields taking damage. Oh, 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 oh. Generates hard flux while active. I'm curious how that's gonna work out. Harden shields, stabilize shields. Reduces the amount of soft flux rays shields generate by per second by 50%. Does not affect the hard flux generated as a result of the shield setting reduces the amount of damage taken by the shields by 25 percent 
Also reduces the chance that shields uh, will be pierced by EMP arcs with weapons like Ion Beam. And the accelerated shields increases the turn rate uh, of shields, of ship shields by 100%, and the rate at which the shields are raised by 100%. It is a 360 degree arc, so they come up faster. They don't turn, doesn't matter, they just come up twice as fast, which may be a very big deal. So I'm going to go ahead and dump off all the weapons. And then we're going to have a look at this tomorrow after I have the time to give it some thought because I don't want to be bumbling around with this right now. But I am going to uh, fly that thing. I'm also going to take the Lizzie and we're going to leave Lizzie as is in the background. Um, you know what? I'll, I'll rename her to the Sunder Liz. Just so I know that this is my old backup. In case I want to be in a uh, in my familiar smaller ship and uh, fly that beast uh, in in times when we don't want to uh, to put this out because this thing costs uh, recovery cost supplies. This is a sixty, really. This is a beast. How about you? You're forty. Yeah, this thing recovery cost is forty. This is 60. This is definitely the capital capital ship. What a what a gargantuan facility or flight flowing or whatever flying station this thing is. That's nuts. Uh, this will be repaired, which is great. I don't know that we've got too many other demods, if any. We have no other demods active, so every month from now to whenever, uh, till it succeeds, this will have a chance to fix itself up. So. Uh, we're gonna have to look though into the layout of that for sure. The uh, the uh, which components we're gonna put in that. I'm gonna transfer all our weapon stockpile here to leave that behind. Okay, uh, two fifty there. But how about the open market? Would you give me one hundred eight for them? I'm gonna take a hundred units. For scouting purposes, drop the rest of those off there. Let's sort out this junk. Um, if we have anything that actually has a... This is in storage, right? If we have anything that actually has good prices on these locally, we might want to do that. Staffing at 34, that's pretty darn good. Uh, with our crew, as is, the full amount of troops that we've got with or needed for all these dudes, we're sitting at 3,200. I have that much in storage right now. Let's put the crew on the market and uh, bring them back on. In fact, I'll bring all these guys. That gives me about a 500 men uh, surplus. We got 24% bonus on our fleet right now. Storage has some fuel and some supplies for us. Uh, I will dump this up to 50 for a standard hold. Food available locally. What's the sell price for them? 19 bucks here. Put those in the market. Take that and that, and also drop it in the market because it's not really worth holding on to. Now, if I sell these and then we get raided, the pirates could end up with them. But so what? So let's just sell those they're not likely to do so now it's going to the open market here because we only have an open market so that's fine with that that and that excellent 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 okay we can always buy them back if we decide that's a bad idea but uh these will stay here unless they get i guess traded or rated and if they're traded that doesn't matter if they're rated we've screwed up royally <laughs> because there's a lot of kick here now we can also buy fuel and supplies here rather than buying it for 25 and having the delay sometimes this price will be better so this is a oh no that's not it is going to be better to buy it here because of the taxes so i am going to fuel up entirely here um we'll have to watch for any prices that drop in our home system because if anything becomes a uh, lucrative price here 
uh, then it'll be actually something that we can um, we can make a profit by bringing our, our surplus manufacturing. So like this is this going to cost us 150 for heavy machinery. We could drop down to Yamaha 19 light years away and sell it for 330. So that would definitely be worth it if we're taking a trip down there and some stuff is some really hefty prices like that. 700 bucks a unit uh, and this one is uh, 180 bucks a unit and then the drugs in the same system for three, 420 bucks a unit. Like you can make money moving your own stuff. That's what I'm trying to say. Uh, you just have to time it right and position it right. It would be much more profitable if we were close to system or close to core. but. 3.3 million dollars in hand. Actually, hold on. We manage the colony. We need it. We have some extra staffing. I need a thousand of them, which we're going to buy and move over to. I know I just sold them, but that's fine. We're going to take them out of here, take them to the other system. I need about 100 supply, or is it 200? Or uh, heavy equipment. And a couple hundred supply. And I'm going to need to buy those supply, I think. Oh, I, I canceled the purchase here, didn't I? Okay, that's all right. I'm probably going to take a couple thousand more supply with us. It's a huge amount of money, uh, but we're going to be doing a an exploration venture right away. So I want to leave here, and we want to go over to uh, the Talos, whatever that is, over here. Uh, Ludic Bounty Path Active Solarian Prime. Yep. Okay. That's not surprising. They've built the uh, Ludic Path. I expected them to. We were just, we just cranked up the, uh, the uh, evil, you know, making technology and providing things for people and all those other things that are hideously illegal. Um, ultra rich ore deposit. Now it doesn't matter. Right now in this system, it doesn't matter how far we go with uh, as far as the Ludic Path goes. Once there's an active cell, we just have to spend once a year go by and smack them down and make sure that they can't keep actively causing us grief because it will cause grief to the colonies yeah 200 supply 100 heavy equipment and a thousand population and uh uh let's go with the random what do we want this is going to be a um refinery Um, oh, Dryad was a good one. Caprica, Caprica, Leo, Den, Arcus. Let's go with Arcus. Arcus is the, eh, let's go Arcos. There we go, Arcos. Uh, Arcos is this new system here. Now, it's building its spaceport. And its purpose is going to be not to mine per se, but to refine is its first industry. Its first industry is going to be refineries. It's going to take in and produce um, the metals and the transplutonic ores. Uh, so we'll do that first, I think. Let's do that, build that baby. And then we'll go ahead with, uh, well, I can't build a station yet. We can queue up a ground defense. Don't really need it this place will not be raided and if it is that would suck but it won't be raided because it's not going to have a problem with uh being undefended in system now it's 150 percent rating so our hazard is 15,000. but to get it to the first growth pop i think that's a great idea it's 15k to do it but to get it to grow up to pop four right away would be good. It'll help with the economy, interior economy, as well as we can also start either, well, so we can start some heavy industry, which is what we'll be doing here. Heavy industry, orbital station, groundworks, that sort of stuff. Um, I don't know, but we won't need a way station with all of there. Um, we probably won't need light industry either, because uh, we don't need to do that. We can do that back at home and it still will be great, but three million in hand, We'll get this guy going. We'll upgrade its starports and stuff later. Um, the refinery first, then the heavy industry, and the orbital works, ground defense at the same in the same sort of play. And then eventually, I think the next tech after heavy industry, when it gets to four or to five on its own, which it will eventually, um, we'll put in tech mining here and drain that, and then see what we do after that for for anything there. So. 
Pretty fantastic. All right, nothing going on here that we need to care about after that. So uh, we're going to head out of here. This will be it for today. Arcos is founded as our new refining facility going in place here. We do mine a lot of stuff at home, so the refining hopefully will be a profitable opportunity there. I'm hoping. Next thing is to go probably actually back to base and head up, uh, grab the 2,000 or so population we're going to need in order to settle to the south. South of us. So let's... Is there any... No, none of this rubble. We just clean up the trash around the neighborhood. That's fine. Storage, we don't have the staffing for in here. What's it going to cost us? 13 bucks for the crew. Taking back 2,000 of those guys. For sure, for that next colony. We need 100 bucks a piece for these. So, or 100 bucks for... 100 of these for each place. Um, good. Here. Oh, I should have taken the heavy equipment. Oops. Am I dumb? Take another 200 of those. Here, we do need the staffing. 37 is not going to be enough for us, so let's take... I thought I just took these. There they are, 2,000. They're not... They just didn't combine. I was like, didn't I just... Didn't I just take that? Didn't I just do that? All right, so we got the stuff we need to go make the two colonies to the south. So we'll do that, and this will be rapid expansion time. So repairs up, and uh, next episode I have to remember to deal with uh, refitting the Paragon, or shall I call it Lizzie Starwitch. And uh, we'll get Lizzie Starwitch operational, and then we'll decide if we're going to bring these two along. We might leave them behind for the short term to go do the colonization. I think that's probably a better call. I want to bring this so it repairs and so I get used to it. We do have a lot of stuff here, so we probably don't need to carry them all. So, Anyways, uh, what's the speed on this beast? Seven. Okay, that, that's fine. That'll keep us still going at our full, at our full burn. We're at 15 without the full burn here. So, Excellent. Thank you, everybody, so much for joining me. And I hope you guys have uh, had some fun making a bunch of coin with us. Our colony boot expansion is going to go crazy now because of all the money we've got and all of the, uh, and having the Paragon and another colony and then the third and a fourth colony next time. Goal is to plant two to four colonies just next episode. Maybe even five. We'll see. Then we might have to consider who or what needs to manage them. Hmm. All right, that's a long one for you today. Thank you so much. Hit that like button on your way out if I, uh, if you don't mind. Appreciate it. We'll see you in the game.